Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to discuss the situation for extremum problems. The equation of the curve where we have the situation y is equal to theta plus with the sine 2 theta where the angle greater or equal to 0 and less than or equal to pi determine the theta in coordinate of the local minimum point. So step number 1, we have the equation y in terms of theta. Second step is to find the first derivative and also the second derivative. So where we have the dy, d theta, which is equals to 1, differentiate the sine and we have the cos 2 theta, differentiate the 2 theta and we have the 2. So that is the first derivative. For the second derivative, so we will have differentiate the 1, we obtain 0, differentiate the cos and we will have the negative sine 2 theta, differentiate the 2 theta and we will have 2, multiply with the 2 in here, so we will have negative 4 sine 2 theta. Step number 3 is to find the critical numbers. So where we have the dy, d theta, which is equal to 0. So kindly make notes of the situation. So we have 1 plus with the 2 cos 2 theta equals to 0. So cos 2 theta, which is equal to negative 1 over 2. So step number 1. Locate the quadrant. So here we have the quadrant for cos negative, which is number 2 and number 3. So step number 2, the basic angle. So where we have the cos 2 theta, it should equal to 1 over 2. So 2 theta will be equal to 60 degree as the basic angle. So step number 3, the range. So where we have in here, they said 0 until 180. So 2 theta, we have 0, 2 theta, until 360. So step number 4, rotation. So where we have the basic angle on the second quadrant, 60, and the third quadrant, 60. So rotation based on 0, until 180, until 360. So the intersection point, step number 5, where we have the 2 theta, which is equal to 180 minus 60, so we have 1, 2, 0, and then we have 2, 4, 0. Oh. So theta will be equal to 60 and 120 degree. Or we can rewrite the situation in the radian form. So the theta will be pi over 3 radian, 2 pi over 3 radian. So that is the theta where we call the critical numbers. Next is to test the situation by using the second derivative. So in here we have the second derivative where we have negative 4 sine 2 theta. So if the theta is equal to pi over 3, if the theta is equal to 2 pi over 3. So we have to substitute. So the second derivative for the theta is pi over 3 where we have the situation and we will have negative 2 multiplied with the third 3 where we have less than 0, which is the maximum. If we substitute theta equals to 2 pi over 3, then we have the second derivative, which is 2 multiplied with the third 3 greater than 0, which is the minimum. So means that the theta pi over 3 is the maximum, and theta equals to 2 pi over 3 is the minimum. So what we have to do is to find the value of y. So if the theta is pi over 3, substitute into the equation of y, so the value of y would be where we have pi over 3 plus with the square root of 3 over 2. So if we equate the denominator, y is equal to 2 pi plus with the 3 square root of 3 over the 6. So in here where we have the pi over 3 and then we have the 2 pi plus with the 3 square root of 3 over the 6 as a maximum point. Continue. We have the theta equals to 2 pi over 3. So if we substitute theta equals to 2 pi over 3, so the value of y would be 2 pi over 3 minus we have the square root of 3 over 2. So we write the situation 4 pi minus the 3 square root of 3 over the 6. So that is the value of y. 
So in here we have 2 pi over 3, 4 pi minus 3, square root of 3 over 6 would be the minimum point. So refers to the question, determine the theta coordinate of the local minimum point. So this is our main target. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.